Oh, Van der Berg sat in his bed and watched the likes of Rake Neathling parade the medals they won at the Athens Olympics. And that was the last time the South African anthem sounded at the Olympic Games. <laughs> last night, a gold medal and a new world record of 58.46 seconds was the realization of an Olympic dream that was eight years in the making. I've thought about that moment for you know, so many years in my life and to hear like chariots of fire <laughs> going through, <laughs> standing, standing on the podium was they're the biggest moment of, of my life. It's um, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You can you can obviously a personal milestone, but is also an inspiration to a new generation of South African swimmer. You know, it's it's great. You can sit in a corner and look at it and think, okay. But you know, when you can sit with your friends and family and think about the great memories and the great emotions that you shared over it. And that's what will last forever. Got a message from you know my idol growing up, Penny Haynes. She just joined Twitter and sent a message, and that was really a great honor for me. You know, one day if I can inspire maybe, like I say, some kid, and he can come through and pull through and do you know the unthinkable and, and achieve what we did today, you know, I'll uh, definitely be that kid's biggest supporter as well. And as promised, Vandenberg pockets 400,000 rand for his efforts. Oh yeah, <laughs> check is ready. <laughs> uh, we should actually be ready to, to, to put into his account, you know, and if you want to see the evidence, we can do that too. So the South African gold rush has begun. One down, 11 to go. Tabi Sositon, SABC News, London. Cameron Funderberg's journey to Olympic gold. It ranks up there amongst South Africa's proudest sporting achievements. Funderburg dominated the front pages. The country's newspapers only too eager to deliver some good news for a change. And the praise continues to pour in from Sports Minister Fakile Mbalula, who said that South Africa now counts amongst the best in the world, to the Young Communist League, whose belief was strengthened that winning the expected 12 medals was possible. From his mom, living each stroke with her son from the stands, there can be precious few prouder moments. It's been a long road to get to this point, um, probably like the last 10 years that we've been with Cam and helping him along the way. So it's really just the greatest, greatest feeling at the moment. In Pretoria, the pool that produced the Olympic champion and perhaps one day a golden generation. Youngsters who have rubbed shoulders with a swimming great. We're looking to develop our kids over the next four years. I would say we at least have maybe four or five kids that we're looking at for 2016. We're very proud of Cameron and we all want to be like him, so we're training really hard. I'm very proud that he won the gold. It's good to dream. On any given day in this pool in suburban Pretoria, you'll catch Cameron Funderburg hard at work twice a day six days a week and for many countless hours. However, not today, because every now and then all that hard work pays off. Sometimes you become the Olympic gold medalist. Simon Burke, SABC News, Pretoria.